everybody. Uh, I haven't done a video in a long time, but I thought I'd finally give a small walkthrough of my gecko room. And uh, pretty much this is what it looks like for now. Uh, everything's pretty much filled up. I have zero space. I'm going to be building a couple racks uh, throughout the next uh, month. And the website should be up by the end of April. Uh, we're working on that. Uh, but I just thought I'd give you guys a small walkthrough of what I have so far. And uh, this is just where I used to keep my rodents. If you guys were uh, subscribed to my other YouTube channel, uh, you guys knew that I had this full wall full of rodents. And then we, this didn't used to be there, this wall or this ceiling. Uh, but what I did was we put this wall and a ceiling and we left some room in the back for storage so the garage door can still open. Uh, so let me just start off uh, with the crickets. Uh, this is where I keep my crickets in for now. Uh, these are the, the quarter inch crickets for the babies. And pretty much we have our own gut load and a paper towel for with water, a moist paper towel for their water. And this is just a 56 quart uh, Sterlite bin. I wouldn't recommend the mesh topping, but you know the quarter inch can't really get up there. Uh, this is our three fourth and adult inch crickets, and this is mostly for our geckos that are 25 grams and up. And pretty much is the same setup. We just have more cardboard and we have aluminum screening. And this is just an Eris bin. We have the gut load, moist paper towel for water, and the, and the cardboard. Now this metal screening, this is aluminum screening. If this was mesh, the crickets would eat right through that. And I used to have that problem when I used to keep them in here. But since I switched them in there, I haven't had any crickets get out anymore. This is just where I keep some small supplies, vitamins, calcium, hides, some deli cups, same thing here. You need a garbage can. Just found these eggs today from the wild cots. Uh, this is my utility cart. All right, now let's go through the racks. Uh, many of you guys have seen these racks before. Uh, these use, these are the baby racks and also the, uh, this is where I'll keep most of the geckos that are going to be sold through adulthood. Um, this is, uh, what the baby tubs usually look like. Uh, they have a hide, moist paper towel, and that's about it. I don't keep a water dish until they're 15 grams. And I just spray them down every other day and they get their water source through that. Here's a pattern unless I just finished spraying these down and feeding them. Might give her some more crickets. And this is pretty much it. Now, when the geckos reach 15 grams, this is what their tub will basically look like. They'll have the same hide, a PVC coupling with a two ounce Dixie cup for water, and newspaper. Here we just have a wild caught female we have in there. And here's another wild caught female. I just separated them because I will be keeping these PVC coupling. And they all have their ID number, the day they were born, their temperature sex, and um, their, these are just uh, old weights. Okay, now our adult racks, uh, when they're not breeding, this is pretty much what they look like. They have a, a tw an eight inch, hide and their PVC coupling with the two ounce water dish and newspaper as a substrate. The zero is hiding there. I just finished feeding these two as you can see. This is a female zero. She'll be breeding next season. Or this season actually. And this is just uh, an, an extra rack that I had and uh, in here I just have a male albino with a female het. This is the male, and that's the female aberrant, 100% het for albino. And here's a little albino that they produced. I'll kill him over here and show you guys that. This was born on the 8th of April. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. It was born on the 4th of April. You can see her back there. We'll be up for sale once it hits 15 grams okay and that's pretty much it's pretty much the room hope to be filling this up with racks 
uh, soon. Uh, this this year I do plan to get a male caramel, uh, male patternless. I miss the, the I miss the patternless in the male incubator, and uh, also a lot of normal females. Uh, this year should be a really exciting year for us here at Imperial Geckos. We'll be dealing with a lot of different morphs and producing a lot of different combinations. So stay in touch. I'll be doing a couple more videos uh, soon. Thanks for watching. Later.